Hey everyone, Scott here. In today's video, I wanted to show you how to find your competitor's money keywords. These are the keywords that are most likely responsible for a majority of their organic sales. Now, Amazon doesn't give this exact info. They don't tell you, this is how many organic sales you made through this particular keyword that you're ranked for. You can kind of guesstimate which keywords your competitors are getting a lot of clicks and sells for using brand analytics, but it's not a precise number. At the time of making this video, Amazon does not release that info. And honestly, I'm not sure that they ever will. So I wanted to share with you a way we can narrow down which keywords are most likely responsible for their organic sales. This is obviously extremely important for any Amazon seller to know. I would say that keyword research is probably one of the most vital tasks any Amazon seller can do. The keywords help you to write your listing, your title, your bullet points, do your SEO, which stands for search engine optimization, which is all the different things you do to help Amazon index your listing better, to rank it better. It helps you determine which keywords you should try to boost your ranking for, and to help you determine what to target for Amazon PPC, and a lot more. So I hope you're as excited for this as I am. If you find value in this, I'd appreciate it if you like the video. It really does help me out. Subscribe if you don't want to miss out on more content like this from me. But let's go ahead and get right into the walkthrough of how to do this. All right, so to do keyword research on Amazon, you're gonna need a keyword research software. So I'm gonna be using Helium 10, but you can accomplish a similar thing with Jungle Scout, Managed by Stats, or some of the other major ones. I personally prefer Helium 10. I've been using it for years. I like their tool set. They have a pretty cheap plan if you're just doing product research for things like $37, $38 a month. And it comes with a free Amazon course, which can save you a ton of money if you're just getting started and don't wanna buy an Amazon course. So for this walkthrough, I'm going to be using a handheld bike pump as the product we're going to be doing some keyword research for. What we wanna do is we wanna find five to 10 competitors that are very similar to my product that I'm gonna be launching or maybe one you've already launched. But we want it to be similar as far as look and function. Now, I don't care about things as like color, like it's a little bit different color, maybe it's the design's a little bit different. What I'm trying to find is something that accomplishes the same function as the product that I have. So for example, for a bike pump, I'm not gonna do a like a foot bike pump. I'm not gonna do, if I have a handheld uh, kind of manual pump, I'm not gonna do an electric bike pump. I'm not gonna do like a car tire pump or a sports ball pump. I wanna find something that's specifically a handheld uh, bike pump. So how we do this is we come up here and we're gonna use Helium 10's Chrome extension and we're gonna use X-Ray right here. And this will pull up uh, everything from the front page. Now, what we wanna do is we want to sort it by sales because we wanna find the competitors that are selling the best. I don't care about the competitor that's on page three and barely making sales. I wanna find the best competitors that are like my product and figure out what keywords they're ranking for and performing best for. So we're gonna sort this by sales. So we have the most sales up here. And then what we're gonna do is just go through each product and we're gonna see if it's like the one um, that, we're, that we have, whether you've launched it or not. And the easiest way to do that is to go over ASIN. You just hover over it and it'll pull up a bigger picture here with the title so you can see. So you can notice here that this is a foot pump, kind of a bigger foot pump, so not relevant to my product. The next one here is a hand pump. So I'm gonna select them. So you just click it here. Now, if you notice, I've already gone through this and pre-selected some products um, just to save some time. But you just go through each one, just keep going down until you have 10 selected. You can see some of the other ones I, I skipped was like this one, which is a like a floor pump. Um, this one was a ball pump, so I skipped that one. But you can see this one's just another hand pump. Um, see this one, it's another hand pump. So the next step you wanna do is you wanna come over here and you wanna hit run keyword search. This takes us to Cerebro, which is Helium 10's reverse ASIN search. This is a function that any good uh, software for keyword research should have or for product research should have. Um, so the major one should do this. So basically what it is, it takes an ASN for the product and it finds all the keywords that that product is ranking for. Now, sometimes a product can be ranking for a keyword. It's not really relevant to you as your product, or maybe not even really relevant to the product itself because of some of the keywords that are in there, it's still ranking for it. So what we're accomplishing by getting uh, five to 10 competitors. Now, if you're in a small niche, you don't have that many competitors, you can choose five. Uh, but most cases, I like to shoot for 10 competitors. It gives me the most uh, info, most relevant info. So by doing the reverse ASIN search for all 10 of these competitors at the same time, is we're going to be able to find out uh, across all the competitors, which keywords are resulting in the most sales, or at least the best organic rank 
which then organically, obviously the higher your ranking, the more chance you have to make organic sales. So here we are, and let's go ahead and scroll down here and we'll see that we have 18,000, a little over 18,000 keywords. So obviously that's a lot of keywords. We, didn't, we can't uh, work off of 18,000 keywords. So the first thing we want to do is apply uh, some different filters here. So what I like to do is I like to search, this is for search volume. I like to start with a minimum of 500 search volume. If there's a keyword that's only getting like 50 searches a month, you know, it might be a relevant keyword and maybe later you want to target that for PPC. But if I'm looking for a keyword I want to launch and target or a keyword that I want to boost my ranking for, I want to make sure it has enough organic uh, traffic. Uh, so if I do rank for it, actually make sales, you know, because sometimes you can rank number one for a keyword, and maybe make like one sell uh, every week or something from that keyword. So I like to start with a minimum of 500. And we're going to switch the match type to organic. So we the organic results. And let's just go ahead and hit apply and see what happens here. So you'll see we're going from 18,000 to 1,800. So obviously that's a big uh, kind of drop in the number of keywords, which is what we want. Now this is where the magic happens. This is right here called advanced rank filter. And what this does is it allows you to enter the number of the ASINs that you have selected, a minimum number or a maximum number, and it allows you to enter a minimum rank. That's what RM rank minimum, RM rank maximum that you want those ASANs to be ranking for. So just to kind of quickly give an example, if I chose a minimum of one ASIN and I chose a rank between one and a hundred, that means it will filter it down to keywords that at least one of the ASANs are ranking somewhere between one and a hundred. Now, what we're gonna do is we want the most relevant keywords. So if I have 10 competitors, uh, I'm going to select seven. I like to start with seven. So seven out of 10 of the competitors. So we want a minimum of seven, maybe more, but a minimum of seven. If you have five, if you're only doing five products, you might start with uh, four, like a minimum of four. And then you come over here and we want them to be ranking somewhere between number one and number 30 uh, on the front page. So one through 30 should be, depends on the niche, but it should be somewhere in the top half of the front page because I don't want keywords that they're ranking on page two for because uh, that's probably not generating a lot of organic sales. Most of the organic sales will come from uh, mid to top of page one. So let's go ahead and do it. So we have a minimum number of seven out of the 10 ranking between one and 30. Let's go ahead and hit apply. And that brings us down all the way to 33 keywords, which is great. I usually shoot for somewhere between like 30 keywords and maybe on a, on a minimum side, somewhere between five and 10 keywords. So um, that's kind of a, a good range of being narrowed down enough. Now, the next thing I like to do is I like to come down here and I like to see if there's any keywords that are not relevant to my product and go ahead and get rid of those. Or if there's brand names in here, um, I don't really care about brand names. I'm just trying to find the generic keywords that people are ranking for. Let's just do a quick look through here. So I see down here, we have something like mini bike frames. Well, mini bike frames, it doesn't really relevant. Mine's a bike pump, not a bike frame. So I, that's something I'd go ahead and get rid of. I see here like uh, Vibarelli, uh, bike pump, that's a brand name, at least I'm assuming that's a brand name. Um, there's another one called Velo uh, brand name. So what you can do is you can actually come up here and you can exclude phrases that contain. You can just put all the keywords or brand names in there and just hit apply and it will filter those out so that they're no longer uh, visible in your list. So I went ahead and added uh, some brand names here to go ahead and get rid of those. So it took us down to just 30 keywords. So uh, if you're not getting enough keywords, one thing you can do is you can come up here, you can maybe change the search volume. Maybe you're in a a niche that doesn't have a lot of search volume. Maybe you want to drop this down to something like 300, minimum of 300. Um, maybe you want to change the ranking to instead of the top 30, maybe the top 45, something like that. Now, if you're getting too many keywords, uh, maybe you want to bump this up to a thousand minimum search volume. Or um, instead of the top 30 uh, search places, maybe uh, you drop down to maybe the top 25, top 30. You just adjust the filters till you find that sweet spot of somewhere between five to 10 minimum and 30 maximum to find those best keywords. So once you have this, you can go ahead and you can come over here and you can hit export and you can export it as a spreadsheet, which is I recommend doing so you can have, um, you can always go back to it at any time and look at it. Uh, but what I usually look at as far as evaluating these keywords, the first thing I like to do is a couple things I do. Uh, the first thing I like to do is I look at search volume. So I'll sort it by the highest search volume. 
So we hear uh, mini bike pump has the highest search volume, mini bike frame, we'll get rid of that one so that's not relevant. And we have portable bike pump next uh, with 3000 search volume. So these are two keywords that are obviously very important. We have bicycle pump, uh, portable has a lot of good one, uh, small bike pump, all these ones here look really relevant to the product that I'm doing. So uh, the next thing I might look at, so if I was trying to choose a keyword that I wanted to, if I was launching a product uh, newly, or maybe you have it launched and you're trying to boost ranking for a particular keyword, don't know which one to choose. Um, I like to look for a combination of having good search volume, um, but also maybe being a little bit easier to rank for, especially if it's a new product, you're not ranking for a lot of keywords for, um, because you kind of rank that mid range uh, keyword and then gradually you build on top of that and you'll gradually build to rank for the top uh, search volume keywords. So I'm looking at this. Uh, the other thing I look at is competitor average rank. This is the average rank of all the competitors. So obviously the, the lower the number, the higher average rank all the competitors have. Uh, so the higher uh, average rank, the more relevant those keywords probably are to those products. So I look at here, I notice that portable bike pump has a 16 average compared to mini bike pump, which has a 39 average. So if I was gonna target one for ranking, I might target portable bike pump first because it has the highest average, competitor average, and it has good search volume. Um, another one I might look at here is bicycle pump portable. Um, if you notice here, road bike pump um, is all the way at 53. So while that might be a relevant keyword and it might have good search volume, I probably wouldn't target this right off the bat for ranking, um, just based off of this factor that it's not uh, the most relevant to my product. Something like a small bike pump would be more relevant uh, to my product. So anyways, these are the keywords I would use to choose for the keywords I want to try to rank better for and to also to use as my targeting for Amazon PPC. When I'm first launching my products, you wanna get, uh, you wanna feed Amazon your most relevant keywords when you're very first launching so they know what your product is and which keywords they should be indexing your uh, product for. And then you noticed uh, before there's 18,000 keywords to choose from uh, before we filtered it down. So obviously all those keywords probably aren't relevant to your product, but eventually you want to expand out the number of keywords and you can test out a lot more uh, different keywords with Amazon PPC and, and go from there. But these are keywords I definitely try to, maybe not all of these, but I try to work in some of these phrases as well uh, into your title, into your bullet points, into your back end keywords. You can notice here, this is kind of a cool feature of keyword frequency. So obviously the more times a uh, key keyword or a word shows up in a keyword, the more important it is. So, you know, pump, bike, portable, mini, uh, tire, bicycle. These are all things I'd want to make sure are included either in my title, my bullet points, etc. cetera. So um, I hope you found this helpful on how to break down and find these most important uh, keywords for getting organic sales. This money keyword research method can be used for products that you're going to launch or it can be used for products that you've already launched. I would use the keywords that you find from this to help you determine which keywords you want to try to boost your ranking for to increase your organic sales and to figure out which keywords you want to uh, target for PPC when you're first launching your product. Then of course, you'll want to expand out to more and more keywords, uh, find other relevant keywords to target. Depending on your product, you might end up with hundreds of relevant keywords uh, that you want to try to target for Amazon PPC. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments down below or just say hi, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all the good stuff. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.